Pregnant women often wish to know the type of medications to be taken during the course of their pregnancy. So in this video, we're going to look at all of them together so that you know the type of medications offered to you and the type of medications you should be taking. subscribers thank you so much for um, your views I appreciate everything you are doing if you are new here you are welcome and uh, please do well to subscribe press on the bell icon button to get notified each time I upload a video and also share comment like if you like what you are seeing now let's listen and learn there are so many medications for a pregnant woman during the course of her pregnancy but the only thing I can tell you is to not take any drug on your own. This is because some medications are teratogenes meaning that they are capable of causing harm to your baby. Sometimes babies are delivered malformed or deformed as a result of medications taken without um, a physician's prescription so do not take any drug on your own don't go and buy drug and start taking them now sometimes you may feel a slight headache or you feel feverish or you feel weak and you just need a medication to subside these symptoms well, most of these symptoms are warning signs for a pregnant woman. You don't knock out the signs presented to you. You have to find out what is actually um, giving you this warning sign. And you can only find out what it is if you visit the hospital and get yourself checked. Someone will then ask, what is the essence of this video if we can't know the type of medications to take? I'm making this video to let you know some of the drugs um, you are supposed to be taking as a pregnant woman so that when you get to the hospital and it's not offered to you, you can ask questions. One, it may be that it skips the physician's mind or secondly, that there is a condition that you are having that may not necessitate uh, the administration of a particular drug. So we are going to look at some of the drugs uh, that you are supposed to take as a pregnant woman so that when you don't see it uh, within your prescriptions, you can ask your midwife or your physician. Number one is uh, a vaccination. You're supposed to be vaccinated uh, with tetanus toxic vaccine, especially for mothers uh, from developing countries uh, where most are on hygienic setting. So you are vaccinated against tetanus uh, bacteria so that it doesn't cross the placenta barrier and get to your baby and get your baby infected. So you are vaccinated um, during your pregnancy days. However, you can be vaccinated before you get pregnant, especially if you are within um, childbearing age. And this uh, vaccination can take place for five uh, consecutive times. You are supposed to be vaccinated five times to give you immunity for life. The first uh, dose of the vaccine you get is your first contact with the hospital when you get pregnant or any other time before you get pregnant. 
This has no uh, immunity coverage for you. It's not going to provide you with any uh, coverage against tetanus. Now, the second one you have to take, uh, you have to take it about four weeks after you have taken the first dose of the tetanus toxin vaccine. So, in this video, let's call it TT. So, if you have taken the first TT, you're supposed to take the second one after four weeks. Now, the third dose is taken after six months of taking the second dose. The fourth dose, you take it after one year of taking the third dose. And the last dose, you take it after another one year of taking the fourth dose. If you have completed these uh, five doses, you have taken your TT vaccine for life and it's going to provide you with immunity for life. So when you get to the hospital the first time and you are not giving this a vaccine, it's an injection which you receive in your left upper arm. You have to ask your midwife, I am supposed to receive a particular vaccine known as tetanus toxoid vaccine. Why am I not vaccinated? Okay. The second one is treatment of malaria. So there is prophylactic treatment of malaria for all pregnant women in developing countries. You are supposed to be treated at least twice before you deliver your baby. So the first treatment you get may be the first time you came to the hospital or any other time you wish to have you treated and then you get another treatment. So these are prophylactic treatments. What, I'm, what do I mean by prophylactic treatment? It's a treatment you get to prevent malaria occurrence because malaria in pregnancy can be very deadly. So you are treated against malaria prophylactically so that you don't get malaria. So these are the two important uh, treatments during your uh, course of pregnancy that you should bring to the notice of your midwife or your physician. Now the next drugs to take are hematinics. Hematinics are drugs that help in proper formation of your blood cells. When you get pregnant, you are no longer um, alone. Most of the things you use in your body, you're using it for two people and you need to be um, up in your game let me use that word yes so that you don't lack blood supply and it doesn't matter once there is blood baby takes it even if you are having anemia baby must take the one that will get to him or her so drugs are given to you to help boost your blood Whenever you notice that these drugs are not added to your prescriptions, you have to ask your doctor about it. Some may add calcium for the proper development of your baby's um, bones. These are the core drugs that you're supposed to be getting as a pregnant woman. Any other drug may be prescribed according to what you complain to the doctor. Even though these drugs are safe, do not buy anyone yourself. Let all of them come from your physician. There are so many vitamin supplements that are good for a pregnant woman. But please, speak to your health personnel before you start using them. If possible, come to the hospital with them and show it to them so that you know what they have to say and you'll be on the safe side your baby will be on a safe side as well. Again, if you are giving any drug, please try and take it. Most times, it's not easy to swallow tablets. But please, it's for your own good and the good of your baby. Try as much as possible to be taking your drugs every time that you're supposed to take them. 
don't skip medications or skip the time of taking them. Please do not abuse any drug given to you. I know you guys are wonderful people. You have your interest and the interest of your baby at heart. And I know you are going to uh, follow the drug regimen. Thank you very much for watching. If you have a question, please ask in the comment section. Then if you need a video, also talk, say the topic and I will take it off from there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.